You know, when we had Hurricane Katrina, we had over 10,000 cars that came to Texas. Mm. Um, they get a salvage title, and they've changed the law since Katrina, and now they can't wash. They used to call it washing the title. That's where they would send it to a state that doesn't have salvage titles, and then they'd bring it back here, and you wouldn't know it was a flooded car. Dang it. They've changed the laws, and now... They're not supposed to be able to do that. Larry, what about Carfax? It's a great service. And find if you're going to buy a car, in the next six months, those cars are all going to start hitting the market. You don't want a flooded car. No, you do not. If you took your laptop and went and put it underwater for a week, would you expect it to be very good? Right. Your car's not either. Well, you know, and look for those telltale signs. And above all, does the air conditioning smell mildewy? Is there any kind of musty smell in the car? You can't get it out. Right. The seats are foam. You can smell a flooded car. You can also pull the carpet up in the trunk. Oh, good. There'll be mud or sand underneath the carpet in the trunk. They don't think about that. Okay. Where the spare tire is back there, yeah. there's going to be m- not really mud, but you know that residue that you're going to get. Yeah. So look that in the silty trunk. stuff. Everybody yeah. misses the trunk. It's your money. That's right. And and trust me, the bank's not going to say, oh, well, go get another one. No, they won't. You're going to owe for that one. <laughs> yes, you will. So get it checked.